Oh sh**, these, these Europeans are crazy! <laughs> What's up guys, you joined me back at the Intercontinental. We are looking at this McLaren 720S. We've also got a 570S Spider. Plan for today, as I understand it, is well, I'm just gonna vlog the entire day, but McLaren have invited Parker, Vehicle Virgin, and Paul Wallace, but he, Supercars of London, he's not feeling too great, so he might join us later to go for a drive in the mountains around Geneva, naturally. I was like, yeah, that sounds pretty good without my voice cracking like a little young child. Yeah. We're gonna start in the 720S, which is in Azores Orange, and then there's a Vega Blue 570S Spider, but this is a lovely, lovely spec actually. Forged carbon in the wheel arches, carbon inside. Visibility, as you know, is great in this car. I actually did a full 720S review, which is gonna be linked somewhere around here. So if you wanna see more technical stuff about the car, go watch that. This is purely gonna be the sort of day in the life of someone that gets handed the keys to a supercar in the mountains. It's even got all the carbon around the lights, carbon front splitter, carbon on these air vents, carbon wing mirrors. Very cool spec. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. Welcome we got back McLaren's to the channel. for today. Hey, no, can I leave this with you? Yes. Thank you. Do we have the key? Yeah, it's in my pocket. Oh, okay, you have the key. Let's start the car. Engine start. I am in a different time zone to the steering wheel right now. Yeah, you so, should probably move yeah. forward. But these McLaren seats are the most complicated thing in the world. Am I doing? No, that's not it. How does this work? Ah, found it. No way, I'm just going up. No, that's down. What was that? Did you hear that? I'm just pushing the lumbar support. Oh, I, ah, found, I it. found it. I <laughs> found it at the same time. What is it? It's a car, it's got an engine. Drive. It's quite fast. <laughs> Here you go. Official review. There you go. You know what I love about these things is they're very, very easy to drive, aren't they? Yeah. And then it's as it's fast as a hypercar in a yeah. straight line. It's unbelievable. I need lift here. No, that's cruise control. <laughs> How does this work? <laughs> ah. Got it! First tunnel. You ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Will this be the first time you drive in Switzerland? Yeah. Okay, well it's terrifying. Really? Why? Because it is just insanely strict. Now we're going across the border. <laughs> Into where? France? Yeah, we're going into France. Ah, so this is good. So you're actually not going to drive into it. So <laughs> <laughs> that being said, have you ever so driven there? Uh, well, you won't be. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the right thing to do to now, before we get to the nice roads, rattle off some stats on this thing. So, Parker, who is an expert on this car, <laughs> I've now sort of discovered, is going to help me with this. So, we've got 720 horsepower, torque 568, 0 to 60, 2.5, according to Motor Trend. It is so fast. Yeah. It's what I've always said is out of all the cars I've driven, I honestly think that as a machine, as a mechanical object, this is the best car I've ever driven. As a car, it does everything. It's super comfortable. You've basically got hypercar performance. Though. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's a quarter mile is insane. nine point nine seconds, which that's as fast as a nine eighteen. Oh. Oh. And it brakes insanely well. They've got some new brake technology. Which means that the calipers actually look really small, don't they? Yeah. But they they work. They really do work. And if you whack it, we've got it currently in sport, but if you whack it in comfort, it's one of the most comfortable supercars out there. Yeah. Visibility's great. It's all in all just a fantastic car. We follow the 570S. Oh, can you feel it trying to wiggle? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. awesome. You're like, oh sh these these Europeans are crazy. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. scenery though, man. Brutal upshift from time to time. Yeah. I tell you, the front end grip is incredible in this car. Well, the fact that we're on winter tires, it's rear wheel drive and it's kind of cold. Yeah. And we still have decent traction. Yeah. And a 700 it's horsepower really car is pretty, is pretty staggering. The traction control in this thing is unbelievable. Yeah, I can feel it sort of holding back. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're just going to turn it all the way off right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Punch it. Good luck, <laughs> Seb. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a choice. Are you ready for this? That's not even flat. Oh, yeah. I'm not even like oh, foot man. to the
passenger seat. Yes! This car is awesome. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this road is This epic. road is insane. Absolutely insane. Because it's such a good road surface. <laughs> Still real, real drive. Still real, real drive. <laughs> yeah, traction off in these conditions would be um, yeah. a handful. Yeah, yeah. To say the least. Especially with these tires too. This car is so smooth. I think one of my favorite parts is like the driving position where you sit yeah. in the car yeah. and how the front slopes down so you yeah. literally like see the ground right in front of you. Oh, uh, so it's, it's honestly the visibility. I know it sounds very boring talking about it, but it's honestly one of the coolest things in this car. Yeah, it just makes it the driving experience better. Is like you're driving a go kart. Or... I yeah. think it probably yeah. is. We've just stopped off at this viewpoint now. I believe you're gonna start your video, right? I'm gonna start my video. Here we go. This car, we've just been blasting it, as you saw, is unbelievable. After this afternoon, I'm getting into this, the 570S Spider, which looks gorgeous. Beautiful spec as well with the carbon interior. This area of the world where you're surrounded by the Alps, you've got the lakes in the background. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So anyways, get started with your video. Now you kind of know a bit more of how these things go down. Look at these roads. It's so rare that you have beautiful roads with awesome views views, amazing corners, but also an amazing road surface, which is what we have today. So you can actually kind of put the power down, although the winter tires are limiting us a bit, but having all of these components put together, it just makes these kinds of days magical. Your video is kind of like five cool things about yeah. the 720, right? Yeah, so one of them is uh, variable drift control. And look at this graphic. No way. So you want to increase the slip angle. And it that actually is shows so you on cool the how much you can slip. That is insane. Yeah, and you're also focusing a bit on the, the yeah, screen so up here. Yeah, so you uh, put it in sport mode, the screen folds it up. Folds up. And then you have um, this button here as well to do it. Exactly. Yeah. Next stop is lunch, I believe. Yep. Let's do it. Parker's going to film the rest of his video in the 720, so I'm going to take the 570S Spider to the lunch stop. Whoa. Oh, these doors are so cool. Should you buy a McLaren? Obviously, the competition is very stiff at the moment, but I am a massive fan of this brand. Why is that? Well, I think that these cars, if you're someone who drives your cars and who actually uses them, I honestly think this is the way to go because these cars are so usable and will give you the best performance in their segments. So this car, for example, if you're talking about the competition, let's say Porsche Turbos or R8 Spiders or anything like that, Nothing will give you the same sense of almost, and this is not a word, supercarness and usability at the same time. Because you can honestly, genuinely use this every day. It is so comfortable with, once you put the active panel in normal, it's so comfortable, so usable, quiet. The sound system is awesome. But when you put it in track, it is a total, total beast. And I've driven these cars quite a bit now. I'm lucky enough to have done a few miles on motorways in towns, on little alpine roads like this. And there isn't a scenario in which I've thought, nah, this doesn't do this well. Every scenario, and I know it sounds like I'm completely fanboying now, but I honestly am because I am a massive fan of this brand. I've never owned one, so I can't tell you exactly what it's like to own one day to day. Um, the servicing and all of that, but from someone who's done a few miles in press cars, I can tell you that I've been blown away every single time and haven't had any problems with the cars that I have uh, driven in. Some may say the noise isn't quite what it should be. And fair play, maybe it isn't the sexiest noise in the world, but every other aspect of this car, all round as a package, if you're gonna use it, then I honestly think this is the way to go. We are well in the depth of the Swiss Alps now. Oh, massive speed bump type vibe going on. None of us have ever been here before, but we are probably in a little Swiss village. And everyone that sees the car drive by just kind of can't believe what's going on. They're like, oh my God, a McLaren. And then, oh my God, another McLaren. These things do get a lot of attention, especially in the specs that they're in. Well. Here's something you don't see every day. Two McLarens turning around in someone's driveway in the mountains. These people are like, just to give you some context. There's Parker turning around me. This is the house, this is the driveway for the house that we're turning in. This is where we're turning. Sick! How cool does the 720S look on these tiny little roads? It looks insane. Lift systems way up. We're going right as well. Oh! oh. That was terrifying. 
We're now in what looks like an abandoned ski resort with McLarens. Fairly unusual. When we pulled up, I was like, is this a restaurant or like somebody's private? I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. Like chateau. I know, I know, I have no idea. Honestly, I have like no idea where we are. Slide. There is a slide. Into the snow. Yeah. Didn't realize you brought your pet cow. La vache. La vache. Is that what, the only word you know in French? <laughs> La vache. I know a couple of words. It comes in handy. <laughs> Look at this. Satisfied? Satisfied. Very so satisfied. Taking a picture. Yeah, exactly. You're like a food Instagrammer I just like now. Flag. Then we got Paul's joined us. How are you feeling? Yeah, Paul, Paul. Paul's a bit sick. Well, Paul tries to survive his way down the mountain, going slowly in this car. We're gonna take this. What? <laughs> what was that? What was that? What was there a bug? Yeah. <laughs> You're wondering how the videos are made. This is how setting up the GoPros. Hello. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> yeah, we got one one camera here. Where's the other one? Round back, right here, and then the third going. How does that look? We need to clean the window. Kind of cool if we clean the window. Yeah, it's kind of filthy. The amount of carbon in here is rather marvelous. We got up here. We got none here. Oh yeah, here. And then we've got <laughs> behind the seats. This is my official review. Thank you. Uh, and then I don't know why I said thank you. <laughs> 720S is great for MIG GoPro mounting conversations. I can just see Parker through the roof. This is what it's like to be the passenger of someone vlogging and... <laughs> hey there. Hello. Well, we both had time... <laughs> that was sideways. That was sweet. That was sideways. We both had time to experience both this car and the 570. And how was your day? Amazing. Covering all of this, so absolutely. Oh, that was awesome! Absolutely yeah. incredible. I mean, just the combination of power, refinement, how easy it is to drive, <laughs> yet how fast it really is. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's staggering. No, this car is insane, and you did the right thing. I think highlighting some of the aspects that you don't necessarily think about with this car that most journos haven't looked at. So I think that was a really cool idea. And these kinds of days when you get called up, do you want to just come and drive this car? No, <laughs> they're the best. this is like literally what what we work every day. single day I know. to be able to do. This is insane. I mean, it really is insane, this car, how it pulls. But what amazes me is the grip it has, the lack of body roll, the braking. It's not just the acceleration, it's kind of just everything that comes with it, which is insane. No, the levels of grip for a rear wheel drive car is actually insanely impressive. Part of that is how stiff the chassis is, carbon fiber tub, yeah. then proactive chassis control too. It's got sensors scanning the road at all times to change the suspension setup for maximum grip on the track, but then also make it comfortable when you're in normal mode um, I mean, on the road. These guys are just the coolest nerds in the world. The guys who have built this. Yeah. It's insane. And they, they uh, Learned a lot from the 12C, where it yes, was kind of saying, it yeah. was the biggest nerds in the world, and they built an incredible car that was designed in a wind tunnel and stupid fast, but it kind of lacked the uh, the excitingness. And then they they've, yeah. they've brought it back they and kind of brought it back. Yeah, yeah, I mean this, you know, you can do what we're doing now, and this gets your heart pumping because we're sliding out of corners or let you slip, but not too much. We don't have the active drift control on. Um, but if you did have that on, you could control exactly how much angle you want to get. Right now, we're just sort of improvising. Yep. <laughs> but, oh man, so, so cool. We made it back! What a day. What an insane day, What an dude. insane Seriously. day. Oh, I got the music We got the still. copyrighted music on. Yeah, that was a great YouTuber move from me. <laughs> I was actually going to reach down to turn it, but to I didn't want to be like, you know, yeah, Wise Parker, out. like, not looking and paying yeah, attention exactly, to your vlog. Exactly, exactly. Oh, is this the same guy who opened our door earlier? I think so. They, they're so, it's so fancy here. They're like, would you like us to close your door? And I was like, well, I could probably, I, I probably could do it probably ourselves. Do that but alone, like, this is kind of, uh, But okay. sure, you know, yeah. I'll take advantage of your services. <laughs> let's, let's do it.